All right, this is the 2008 Toyota Hilux SR. It's a two-door model. Now, if you're having problems starting your car, well, there's many ways, many different types of reasons the car doesn't start. If your fuel one doesn't start at all because there's no lights on the dashboard right here, when you put it on ACC or try to turn the ignition on, it's totally... Um, blanked out well there's no lights at all other than your door that's the uh, door indicator if everything else here is dead then i'm going to show you how to fix it um because i've gone through it and uh hopefully i can save you some time so i've did the usual checks uh check the fuse box there's a few panels here i've checked all the fuses there i couldn't find any problem with those fuses I know it's a fuse problem. I've got a battery that's 100%. I've only just uh, bought that a few weeks ago. There's another relay slash fuse on the, this side here, which uh, that's not, no, there's no problems there at all. Well, what I found the main cause is is the fuse in the engine in the engine bay. I'll show you that right now. So after you've tried hitting the starter motor, check your batteries, uh, still no lights there. Um, I would go straight to your fuse box here in your engine compartment, It'll save you a bit of time. So take this off, there's a uh, couple clips here, there's two here and this one here. So take this off first and just squeeze this. I've already loosened this up, so, cause I'm using my other hand, holding the camera, taking it off and straight to the, source the main problem is is this fuse here this is a block of fuses right here and to get to this fuse you're gonna have to use some sort of uh sharp or a screwdriver uh to this uh this one here this two uh three and there's a fourth one here i've um as you can see there's not there's no plastic cover here it's already been it's already snapped i've got a brand new one right here so it looks like this there's the clips and this is a clips there so i haven't put this on yet i'll tell you why in a sec so after you've taken that off get your multimeter or even if you don't have one just have a closer look at number well the fourth one from the bottom so this is well, counting this one two three four this one here this one where i got there's a green uh, wire there that's at the moment i've hot wired it uh, close up there it is i've soldered this bar along this bar here and there's a little um break there it's very difficult to see without uh, actually having a multimeter but this is number 17 um according to the book i'll show you what the book is the reference manual so there it is number 17 and 17 is am 230 amp it's the engine starter, ignition, and injector fuses, all in one, in this number 17 one. So, it took a long time to find it, what, what the problem was. It wasn't quite evident with the, um, but we're just looking at it. So, that's the culprit. The reason I haven't put the, um, the new one in, which is, that's about $65. I haven't put the new block in, because I need to change the starter motor. I believe the starter motor is, the one causing a, a a short it does start with the starter motor as as is now uh, it's it's been running for a few days now with no problem but um i haven't got around to changing the starter motor which i think is causing a major load load on the um the fuse which obviously it's breaking the fuse so um i'm not gonna change this yet until it change the uh starter motor which i believe is the problem so it's just to get you started if you are stuck somewhere if you're stuck somewhere and you don't have a soldering iron well you're stuffed out of way but at least you can narrow it down to this one here so this now starts with just the jumper I'll, um there's a I'll zoom in all i've done is um, soldered one end of the small wire a very thin wire to the other part of it it's very difficult to get in there so i had to use a magnifying glass to get in there to actually uh, help me solder it because it's very difficult to get in that angle i'll show you the 
the original so it's got the glass cut um, the plastic cover but as you can see there's not much room there to do any soldering so that's it I um, hope I've helped you out if you do have anything similar to that no lights on the dashboards whatsoever when you turn the key for my uh, problem this is this was the uh, the solution yours might be a little bit different but if it's got the same symptoms no dash lights at all you got plenty of power on the battery the starter motor you you've hit it a few times and there's no there's no sound at all there's no cranking there's no noise it's just dead it's a fuse problem all right thanks for watching